Hi guys, it's Kayla. Welcome to her back to my channel. I'm here with day 12 of finishing an island in 30 days without Nintendo Online. So make sure you guys don't forget to like the video and subscribe and check out the playlist of this 30 day series to get caught up. And let's get into it. What to do, what to do. Um, there's so much to do, but I think I'm gonna get started with the area in front of my house because I have a big space in front of it and I think I'm gonna do a bamboo forest. I have some bamboos growing over here. I also have these little baby ones which are super cute and I kind of like them. I kind of like how they look. So I'm gonna keep them like that. And I also have one bamboo DIY that I'm gonna use. It's like this stool thing. I think it'd be cute like in the middle of the bamboo forest. So I have these and I also have this thing that would be cool. I don't know, it's with clumps of weeds, that's doable. I have like way too many weeds on this island so we can make like literally a hundred of those but yeah we're gonna be working on this area over here hello harv um you guys have been asking me to talk to harv so today is the day i'm going to be i'm not gonna ignore him today i'm gonna talk to him hey yeah hey you live on this island thought so i'm from like the next island over my name's harvey glad to meet you friend sorry i got a bit sidetracked there i came here for a reason give me a minute and i'll remember why He's been here for so long that he forgot what he was going to talk to me about. I keep hearing about this island and how much folks dig the scene here. So I thought I'd check it out. I'm going to save this Far Out Artist Collective and I'm looking for ideas. So what's the deal? I heard that this place was deserted. Like literally a deserted island. Sir, it, it is it is deserted. It's pretty deserted. It's looking a little rough. You the honcho that put this place at the head of the class. This old noodle just had a casserole of an idea. You should visit my island. You know, honestly, I do like how Harv's talks, like, he's a cool dog. I love all the dogs in this game. I feel like they're all, like, they're all characters. Like, we got Isabel, and then we have Harv's, and then we have the naked dog OKK. Like, they're all just very interesting. Um, also, petition to get a Shih Tzu villager in Animal Crossing. I think that would be a dream come true. Or, like, a Corgi or something. <gasps> Look at Tutu! She's so cute! She's doing yoga! I wish I had the yoga emoji. Or not the emoji, um, the emote. Okay, not the emote. This is not Fortnite. What is it called? Reaction. Reaction! I just woke up, so I'm a little, like, I'm a little half asleep, but... We have all these fruits here. I got some peaches on the island, so now we have, like, three different fruits on the island, finally. But let's go ahead and check the shops and see what items they have. A mochi pestle! So cute, we definitely need that. Um, I really like, I don't know, like Japanese vibes for this island. Like very simple norm core, but like a hint of zen core. So definitely gonna get that. But I also have way too much stuff in my inventory. So scratch that, we're, get, we're gonna get rid of that first. Ooh, guys, so I got like two purple mums from these hybrid yellows over here. And I think I'm gonna go put them with the other purple mums up here and just see if I can get some green mums. Cause apparently somebody in the comments said that you have to put purple mums you can technically do hybrid yellows too to get green mums but they've just been giving me purple so i think i'm just gonna try putting these here and see what happens and i'm gonna give them a good old water i'm really focusing on the the green mums here today and the day that i get a green mum will be a wondrous day okay let's look at the inventory see what else we can get rid of i have all these random items i think i'm just gonna drop them off at home and put them in the storage Oh, I also have this gift here that I got. Let me see what we have. <gasps> look at my watering can. It matches my hat. I look so cute. We got water flooring. Ooh, that's a cool one, actually. That's a cool one. All right, I'm going to drop off some stuff at home and be right back. I'm back, boys. Um, I I'm going to be purchasing everything in your shop today. I also have like 80k in my bank right now currently, so I'm almost there to be able to pay my bridge on the right side of the island. I feel like that's the hardest thing in No Nintendo Online is just saving money as well for all the fees of like the house upgrades and, you know, the bridges and stuff. I have no inclines on this island yet because she broke, um, but one day, one day. Oh, look at this chair. This looks like a grandma's chair. This looks like a very, very antique chair. Um, I'm not gonna get it because I feel like it looks very expensive, but this, I don't know about this. Let's see the price of this one. I've literally never seen this item. It's a basic teacher's desk. Ooh, 2000 bells, might get it. All right, what was over here? We have a water cooler, which would come in handy too. So let me get that. 
Oh, you guys know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't gone to Able Sisters and talked to Sable in a few days. So let me go ahead and check out what they have in the shops and talk to little Sable. I feel like we're so close to getting the extra designs. So let me just talk to her one more time. I also don't know if I'm gonna keep the Sable Sisters so far away. Like they're, they're really in the back here really far away from civilization. So I might have to move this somewhere at some point. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the back of this island, but I'm probably gonna keep it really simple. Oh my gosh, it's Nana, our newest villager. She's also shopping for clothes. I wonder what she's buying. Um, but let's go talk to Sable. She looks like she's doing a really cool design. So let me talk to her. Oh, I guess I have to talk to her a few more times then. But let's go ahead and go into the dressing room, see what they have. I'm really into hats, so I really wanna gather some cute hats, especially if I can do like a hat shop on this island, like a little build, I think that would be really cute. Ooh, they have these. Wait, this is a look, this is a look. It's giving Frodo Baggins, Frogo Baggins. Ooh, this is really cute. Very proper. We also have a tux or something. <laughs> I feel like this is my style. Oh my gosh, we got the beard. We got the beard, I think this is it. I usually go for the band-aids on the face. I think that's like an iconic item, but I'm gonna get that. Why is the only thing that I bought just shoes and a mustache? Okay, so now I just have to work on this area. I wanna clean up this area, just grab all the trees here, put them in my pockets, but we're gonna actually go grab some fruit so we can actually dig up these trees. Gonna be eating a lot of fruit today, getting all that uh, sugar nutrients. I honestly wish we had watermelon in this game. Okay, now that we have this empty space, I think I'm going to start by putting the bamboo shoots or the bamboos. So let me put one over here. And then one down here. And then like maybe in between them, I could do like the bamboo shoots. Ooh. Um, let's do that. It's not going to be perfectly aligned or perfectly spaced out, but I think that makes it look more natural. So let me grab these little shoots and put them in between. I feel like it's looking a little empty here. So I think I have to put some trees. Let me see what the trees look like here. Ooh, wait, that's cool. Like that. Make it very foresty. I think at some point it would be nice when I figure out how to make the designs that I put like a little picnic blanket underneath this bench over here that I'm trying to make. I feel so dangerous running around with an ax. What's gonna happen? You're not safe, Prince. And then I'm gonna go check my storage and see what else we can put in the middle. I have like a lot more items than I did last time you guys saw me. I got a bunch of stuff, so let's see what we can use. Ooh, okay, so we got the Zen cushions, which I'm gonna do. I definitely think it would look really cute. And maybe, hmm. Some tea to put on top of it would be really cute. Oh, and a little wash tub. Oh, a moss ball. I have so much more stuff. Oh, we have incense too. Okay, this is good. I need another little table. I think I have like, yes, I have this table that we're gonna use. I think that looks kind of cute like that. And then we're gonna put the incense burner on top. Really cute. Oh, that's so cute. And then the Zen cushions, unfortunately, um, don't have any patterns to put on it. So it has to be kind of like the default pattern, which is gonna look kind of funny until I can <laughs> until I can figure that out. Um, but I'm gonna place them right here. I mean, the blue one looks fine, but I know I have another one that might not be blue. Let's see. I mean, that, that kind of works, kind of works. I think the moss ball is a superior item. Like, look how cute that is. It's so small, it fits like on anything, like anywhere you could place it. Pillows, tables, benches. The wash tub, I think I'm gonna put it right here, right next to my house. Like I always say, sometimes things just don't make sense in Animal Crossing, but we make it work. Then we have this tea set. I might put the tea set over here just to make it a little less empty. And then I also have a little decoy duck in my pockets that I've been hoarding for a while. So we're also gonna customize that and put a little duck there. I think it would look really cute. I'm gonna put the duck over here. There we go. Oh, this is so cute. Now all we need are some flowers and some weeds just to make it look more natural. Oh wait, I have a little bamboo here. Okay, I'm gonna let this one grow and then I'm gonna add it to the mix 
at some point. But let's go get some Cosmos because white Cosmos look good anywhere. I wish I had green moms. That would be so perfect for this area. Um, but instead, yellow flowers are going to have to do for today. So I'm going to get two of these tulips. And then maybe some hyacinths. And then just place them randomly around just to add some more, you know, lush nature around here. And then I'm just going to place some weeds all over the place just to make it more overgrown. And I just love using the weeds, especially the summer weeds. And ta-da! Super cute! I love this area, actually. It's a, I feel like it was a good idea because I didn't know what to do with these bamboo shoots that I got in the mail. And I was like, not really heading towards the zen vibes on this island. But I love this so much, actually. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But yeah, very simple worked with what we had and yeah that is it for this area over here oh oh i forgot about fencing i think fencing would look really good in that area like kind of sparse fencing just spread out all over the place i have these over here that i think would actually look kind of good we'll see we'll see i'm maybe just gonna put three pieces so let's go see what that looks like i, I don't like how that looks i think maybe two i think two is good it's just like a little sprinkle of it not overdone with the fencing but what do you guys think Fencing, no fencing, let me know in the comments below and I will adjust accordingly to my butterflies. But yeah, I think, you know, adds a little bit more dimension. All right, guys, I think we're going to end here for day 12. Made a lot of progress with the build and the house area. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video as always and subscribe for more content. Stay notified with the series when I post. And shout out to my channel members for supporting the channel. You guys are incredible. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And if you would like to become a member as well, the link is in the description. Would love to have you as a part of the Butterfly Club. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Now,